What up, Reader Fam? Today I am bringing you a video sponsored and inspired by the Blowback Trilogy by Brian Meal. This is the first book in the trilogy, Blowback 07. The second is Blowback 63. And then the third book, Blowback 94, comes out next year. This trilogy follows these two twins named Arky and Iris, and these two twins just do not get along. They constantly butt heads, and it's a real big old problem. But another problem that they have in their life is this instrument that their mother left behind for them. The reason I say it causes a problem is because when they play this wood woodwind instrument, bad things happen. Like, for example, the fact that they send one of their friends, Matt, back to 1907. The only way that Matt will make his way back home is if he plays football. He's basically got to play his way home. Instead of paying his way home, he's got to play football. But things become rather complicated when Matt ends up falling for this girl. So while all that is happening, we've got Arky and Iris over here unveiling a lot of secrets and learning all these different things about the time travel situation. And this leads them to a big rescue mission when they realize that their mother is trapped in the past. This trilogy just sounds like a lot of fun. It's got elements like football in it, it's got music in it, it's got time travel, hello, all three of those things coming together. Just sounds like such an epic story. This is a really random fact, but I just wanted to share it because I thought it was really interesting. The author actually used to work for Sesame Street. He got to work with the first Elmo, hello, iconic. But all in all, this trilogy just sounds fantastic and I can't wait to start it. Learning more about this book made me want to create a book and music tag, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. It's a combination of my two true loves, music, and books coming together to make a beautiful tag. Now, I honestly didn't do any research to see if there were any other book and music tags out there, but I'm sure that there are. But I just brainstormed a few music and book questions, so without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna wear this handy-dandy blowback hat that was sent to me because it's awesome, but I'm gonna wear it backwards because I'm all about that backwards style. Also, it's like we're going back in time with the hat. Back to the 90s. 90s kid represent. Your favorite book with a musical element involved. This is a hard one because I have two favorites that involve music. I've got This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab and I've got Passenger by Alexander Bracken. And both of these books just happen to involve a violin. In Passenger we have our main character Etta who is a violin prodigy. And then in This Savage Song we have August who plays violin. But he doesn't just play it for entertainment to entertain other people. He plays it to steal souls. As I said, very different situations here. But both of these books have a nice music touch to them and I love both of them. Name one of your favorite characters who is involved in music. For this one, I have to go with my homeboy Simon Lewis from the Mortal Instruments series. I would love to attend one of Simon's shows. I feel like his band would have this very like New York garage band grunge style to their sound and I think it would just be so entertaining. And I don't know if the band's name is a spoiler because I don't remember when it's revealed in the story because I know that they struggled coming up with a name, but the name that they end up with is just genius. I love Cassandra Clare for the name that she gave the band. Cassandra Clare I applaud you. Name an album that you wish would be adapted into a book. Okay, so for this question, I don't know if you guys have ever just like listened to an album and as you're listening to it, you're just like visualizing this story in your head. That happens with me a lot. Though I'm not gonna lie, a majority of the time when I'm listening to music, I either picture myself performing on stage or I just like create this music video when I put myself in it and it's super dramatic and wonderful. I have a great imagination, okay guys? Don't tell me you've never done that because I know you have. Anyways, there are also times when I'm listening to an album and I can just like picture this story coming to life in my mind. And one specifically that I'm going to mention is Aurora's album, All My Demons Greeting Me as a Friend. This album has such like a fantastical feel to it. It's got kind of this dark pop vibe to it and the lyrics are super clever and deep. And when I was listening to this album for the first time, all these things were like mixing together and it just created this like fantasy story in my mind. And I would love to see this album be adapted into a book. I think it would be so cool. And I don't know if that's ever happened if an album has been adapted adapted into a book, but I know 100% that music inspires a lot of books, so I would love to see that happen. I would love to see this album be turned into a book. The last section of this tag, we are going to create a band and an album using books. First up, pick a band name using a book title. Okay, so my band name is going to be called The Dream Thieves, and they're going to be kind of in the same category as Aurora because I really like that style of music, kind of that dark pop style. It's going to be lit, except it's not because it's going to be dark pop so it's gonna be dark. Next up, pick an album title using a book title. For the album title, I am going with Falling Kingdoms and it's going to be a fantasy concept album. It's going to tell the story of a kingdom falling. After a villain comes to town, this kingdom just gets completely consumed by darkness. It'll be up to a group of villagers to take down this villain and to save their kingdom. So basically the same concept as every YA book ever. That was a joke, a shady joke. Pick 
pick a book cover that will be your album cover. I think I would go with the Red Queen cover if you just take off the Red Queen text and the Victoria Aveyard up here and you just have this crown upside down that's dripping blood. I feel like that would be a great representation of a fallen kingdom. Also, this cover is just too beautiful for its own good. It's definitely an eye catcher and that's what you want for an album. That's also what you want for a book cover. So whoever designed this did a fantastic job. Now choose 10 book titles that will be your track listing. Okay, so our album will consist of the songs The Call, Vengeance Road, Vicious, Nightmares, What We Saw, and I Darken, Nightfall, Ignite Me, Champion, and the final song on the album will be called The Takedown. I'm pretty sure I just built up the hottest album ever using book titles. I won the game, I won the game. This isn't a game, it's okay. Everything's fine. Chill, Jesse, chill. Now pick some characters who are going to be in your band. These characters do not necessarily have to be involved in music, but just pick some characters that you feel like would make a good fit for this band. Okay, so now we gotta find some bandmates. I think our lead singer will be Winter from the Lunar Chronicles series. I just think that she would just be this really interesting character to watch on stage. I feel like she would be like a Lady Gaga, Sia type artist. She would bring kind of that peculiar flavor to the band. Then I'd have Kinji from the Shatter Me trilogy join the band, and I feel like he would play like maybe piano, and he would be Mr. Personality. Everyone would love him. Everyone would come to the concerts because of him. We've gotta have Simon be in the band because I've already mentioned him and he's obviously already in a band and he would be the lead guitarist. I don't even know if that's what he plays in the band actually, I can't remember, but he would be the lead guitarist. And then I would have Mr. Magnus Bane on bass because I feel like he would just bring something really interesting to the group. Like people would just come to the shows just to see like what he was wearing. And I feel like he would do a lot of really interesting hand movements throughout the show. And then finally I think that I would have Blue from the Raven Boy series be on the drums because she's just such a cool character. Like I feel like if I was ever just around her she would just like radiate coolness off of her and I would just be like wow I can't be next to you because you're just way too cool and I personally think that drummers are on that same level of coolness so I think that blue would be the perfect drummer for this band so there we have it we've created this epic band and we've created an epic album finally tag some of your friends to do this tag as well so I'm going to be tagging all of you guys to do this tag if you want to do this tag you should totally do it but specifically I am also going to be tagging Emma books and she might be Monica because I feel like they are also music lovers and I just be really interested to hear their answers for this tag. You guys should let me know down below in the comments who would be in your fictional band. Again, I want to give a shout out to Blowback07. Thank you for sponsoring this video, and I will leave a link down below to this book. So if it sounds interesting to you guys, definitely go and check it out. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I post videos frequently on this channel, so if you want to be notified as to when I post new videos, be sure to go and hit subscribe, or go and click the little bell icon, and you'll be notified as to when I post new videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye, chew.